In 2020, approximately 300 million notebooks, desktops, and Chromebooks were sold. That's the highest number since 2014. And we expect demand to be even higher in 2021, as the PC continues playing an even larger role in our daily lives. At AMD, we believe the PC has never been more essential. Now, last November, we introduced our first processors powered by our new Zen 3 CPU core. Zen 3 is a new architecture that brings new capabilities to PCs while delivering leadership performance and energy efficiency. The Zen 3 core is a phenomenal example of AMD's dedication to building the best technology. We redesigned the core to deliver our largest generation over generation performance increase since we launched the Zen family. Zen 3 increases our lead in overall performance and energy efficiency and also delivers the best single threaded performance. As a result, the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs are the fastest processors in the world for gamers and creators. Now we designed Zen 3 to scale from ultra thin notebooks all the way up to supercomputers. And I'm excited to announce we're starting 2021 by launching the most powerful PC processors ever built for ultra thin and gaming notebooks. Today, I'm proud to introduce the AMD Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors powered by our new Zen 3 core. These new chips offer both tremendous performance and long battery life. In fact, AMD is the only company with an 8-core x86 processor for ultra-thins. For many years, the notebook PC market was on an incremental pace. By combining our leadership design capabilities with 7 nanometer process technology, our 4000 series mobile processors launched last year set a new performance trajectory for notebook processors. And we continue that new performance trajectory in 2021 with our Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors. You can expect to do more, to be more productive, and to have more immersive gaming experiences with a notebook powered by our new Ryzen mobile processors. Now, with so many of us working and learning from home in 2020, the performance and capabilities of our home PC actually defined how we worked and how we learned and much of our social interaction. We saw our productivity, our ability to create, and our opportunities to connect limited by the computing power of our PC. And for many of us, we wanted more. Our new AMD Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors for ultra-thin notebooks will be a significant step forward in performance and efficiency. With up to eight of our new Zen 3 cores, the AMD Ryzen 5000 series are the best processors in the world for thin and light notebooks. Whether you're running general office productivity applications or more CPU intensive tasks like video rendering, photo editing, or 3D design, the Ryzen 5000 series actually sets the new bar for leadership performance. Now, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800U is our best ultra thin notebook processor. It has eight cores, 16 threads with a boost up to 4.4 gigahertz, and all of this while operating within a 15 watt thermal design that's required for these ultra thin notebooks. Now, when you take a look at the benchmarks across a large range of applications, it's just very clear that the Ryzen 7 5800U just runs your software faster. It's a very special product, the fastest x86 processor in the world for thin and light notebooks. Now, the performance is really great, but in the notebook form factor, battery life is also extremely important. And this is where the energy efficiency of the Zen 3 core truly shines. We've just done a ton of optimization in this space. And with the Ryzen 5000 series, you can expect up to 17 and a half hours of general use and 21 hours of video playback on a single charge. Now that's a major jump compared to our previous generation and true all day battery life. Now notebook customers don't just buy thin and light laptops, but millions of people actually buy notebooks to play PC games. AMD has a rich history in PC gaming and deep ties to the gaming community. Gamers actually want desktop-like performance in the notebook form factor, and that's exactly what we built. Our new HX series mobile processors raise the bar for gaming notebooks. The HX brand actually represents our commitment to build the best processors for gaming. They feature the same Zen 3 cores from our best-in-class Ryzen 5000 desktop processors that deliver leadership frame rates. They're also unlocked for overclocking and have higher thermal ratings for sustained performance, which is key for gaming. Now let me introduce you to our top-of-the-line Ryzen 9 HX processors. The 5900HX boosts up to 4.6 GHz, while the 5980HX boosts up to 4.8 GHz, both with eight cores and thermal design power of 45 watts or higher. So now let's take a look at the Ryzen 5900HX in action. 
what you're looking at here is a very graphics intensive game, Horizon Zero Dawn, running on our new Horizon 5900 HX processor. We're running this game at 1080p with a high detail preset to really stress the CPU. And as you can see, our new mobile HX processors are delivering smooth frame rates of over 100 frames per second. And for all of you looking for a mobile 4K experience, I'm happy to report that gaming notebooks featuring our new HX processors are also capable of delivering smooth gaming experiences when running at 4K at high settings. Now turning to some benchmarks versus a competition, whether you're talking about single-threaded performance or overall CPU performance, the HX series wins by a wide margin. This is why the best gaming notebooks of 2021 will be powered by AMD Ryzen mobile HX processors. To bring the Ryzen 5000 mobile processors to market, we're really pleased with the strong partnership with the industry's leading PC OEMs. This year, we expect the number of notebook designs powered by our new generation of Ryzen mobile processors to grow by 50% compared to the Ryzen 4000 series. We expect more than 150 ultra-thin gaming and professional notebooks powered by Ryzen 5000 series to launch this year. This means even more choice for consumers. And you won't have to wait long to get your hands on these new systems with the first notebooks expected to be on sale from the world's top notebook providers in February. Gaming has continued to grow in recent years, and 2020 was another record year. Four in five U.S. consumers have played a video game in the past six months. And at $174 billion in annual revenue, the gaming industry is actually larger than the movie and music industries combined. We're now approaching 3 billion people playing games. That's 40% of the world's population. Now, gaming is at the heart of so much of what we do at AMD. Gamers push us to innovate faster because they always want more. More frames, more pixels, and more immersive experiences. Which is exactly what we delivered with our new CPUs and GPUs and the new generation of game consoles powered by AMD. The hottest products in the world today are the new game consoles from Microsoft and Sony. Panos mentioned our work with Microsoft to build high-performance CPUs and GPUs for the Xbox Series X and Series S. We're also incredibly proud of our deep partnership with Sony to power the new PlayStation 5. All these next-generation consoles use custom AMD SoCs with Ryzen and Radeon technology. Console gaming has never looked better, and AMD is providing the underlying technology pushing 4K gaming across these platforms. Now, for PC gamers, we introduced high-end graphics cards to the desktop PC market at the end of 2020 with the Radeon RX 6000 series. With the Radeon 6900 XT, 6800 XT, and 6800, we have leadership at the high end. The reviews and awards for these products have been fantastic, and we know that millions of gamers are excited about the RX 6000 series. Whether you're building your own gaming rig or buying a new gaming PC, we truly have the best for PC gamers. We're working with our partners to drive a record number of premium desktop gaming systems from OEMs and from system builders, featuring our new Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards and our Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs. Now, the underlying graphics architecture for all these new PC and console products is AMD RDNA 2. With RDNA 2, we really exceeded our goals. We doubled the performance from the first generation of RDNA in 2019, and we achieved a 65% performance per watt increase while supporting the full DX12 Ultimate experience for gamers. The team did a great job with this architecture, and you'll see many more products in 2021 with RDNA 2. We talked about the importance of gaming notebooks a bit earlier, and we'll be bringing RDNA 2 to gaming notebooks next. So let me show you a preview of the RDNA 2 graphics architecture in a notebook reference design. What you're looking at here is Dirt 5, another demanding game running at ultra-high settings in 1440p. And what you see is more than 60 frames per second. Just beautiful, smooth gameplay. We're on track to launch the first notebooks with RDNA 2 in the first half of the year with our partners. And you'll also see new mainstream RDNA 2 desktop graphic card designs in the first half of the year as well. We're very excited to have RDNA 2 across the entire spectrum from consoles to desktops to notebooks soon. Now let's turn our attention to one of the most important areas of high-performance computing, the data center, cloud, and supercomputing. During our 2019 CES keynote, we demonstrated the world's first 64-core x86 server processor. Since then, AMD Epic processors have been adopted by the largest cloud service providers, the fastest supercomputers, and in the heart of the enterprise. In addition to the researchers we heard from earlier using AMD technologies for medical research, 
Our EPIC processors are also being used for research in areas like weather forecasting, climate change, and energy exploration. From AWS to Google to Microsoft, Tencent, Cloud, and Oracle, the largest cloud providers have adopted EPIC processors to power their internal infrastructure and services. And that incredible growth in video collaboration I highlighted earlier, those too are powered by AMD EPIC, including services like Microsoft Teams running on Azure. And while each of these customers has unique needs and requirements, they all share one thing in common. They will take as much computing power as they can get, and they all want more. That's why we're so excited about our upcoming third-gen EPIC processors. Third-gen EPIC will reset the bar for data center computing. With up to 64 leadership Zen 3 cores, our next generation server processors extend our leadership in performance, total cost of ownership, and security. But today, we wanted to give you the world's first preview of the upcoming processors codenamed Milan, running WRF one of the most popular tools used for climate research and weather forecasting. WRF is used in 185 countries, and as you might expect, to simulate something as complex as a weather system, WRF is an extremely demanding application that benefits from more processing power. Let's take a look at the competitive performance of our upcoming Milan processors running a simulation. In this test, we're comparing two comparably configured servers running a compute-intensive weather forecast for the continental United States. The system on the right features two of our next generation 32 core Milan processors, and the system on the left features two of the highest end dual socket processors from our competition. We're taking in a large set of climate data to produce a six hour weather forecast, and what you see is that the additional performance of the AMD EPIC processors completes the simulation much, much faster. The third gen EPIC server completed the forecast 68% faster than the competition. And the speed to complete in this case is very important because if the simulation runs faster, it means scientists improve the accuracy of the forecast by using a larger data set for the model or running more simulations per day. Now just imagine how much more performance you're going to see with two 64 core Milan processors. We're extremely excited about bringing third gen EPIC to market and can't wait to show you more when we launch later this quarter.